Hey everyone, Beat here. Today we're going to discuss the latest updates with Android emulation these past few days. Starting with Gamesers Game Hub. This got a lot of attention recently. Game Hub is a gaming platform where you can emulate PC games, do cloud gaming, and game streaming. But we'll just focus on PC emulation. There's a bunch of gameplay tests on the internet where you can see the performance of this emulator. And I've seen comments and posts regarding the performance of this not being great compared to in later. It's either performance is similar or even worse. However, it's still early. And this is funded by a company so improvements may be a bit better compared to other projects. Well, who knows. At least they made it available to everyone without requiring any controller or a paywall. And that's a thumbs up for me. Anyways, if you're interested, link will be in the description below. And also if you want some quick setup guide or some GTA 5 gameplay with it, highly check this video. Moving on but still with PC emulation. There's been a WinLater Bionic version around the internet. It's basically a modded version of WinLater where a new graphics driver has been added. It somewhat utilizes devices native drivers to work with DXVK and I've seen videos Mali devices running on DXVK and running games. However, I can't find the official source of this one nor a developer name related to this and download links are provided with Google Drive and Mediafire so I'm not really sure about this. But hey, if you already tested this one, kindly share your thoughts down in the comments below. Now still with WinLater, a native GDMC WinLater 7.1.5 got a pre-release. It has updates for sound driver Alsa, multi-key touch button binding, touch haptics, and some fixes for 32-bit games. We also have weekly update for turnip drivers. Version 25 revision 8 was released, with mostly general optimizations and bug fixes. You can use this custom turnip with WinLater and other PC emulators, as well as Switch emulators. And speaking of Switch emulators, Citron got updated to version 0.4, which focuses on buffer cache optimizations, where it says simplified storage buffer binding logic, improved rendering for underground or depth areas in .k, enhanced memory layout handling and address translation, and a lot more. It also has platform-specific builds. For Android, it includes frame generation and stabilization for supported devices. Another switch emulation related. A brand new custom driver for the emulator has been released. Biosensor MK1. This is more like a compilation of drivers from Webchan, Kimchi, Monoblade, Mr. Purple, Agonis, and Phoenix. Well, actually, I do like the goal of this project, which aims to push the limits of GPU performance of different devices. But we'll see how it turns out. If you want to check this out, the link will be in the description below. A 3DS emulator got updated. Bort 3DS. This is a Citra fork with a mix of Pablo MK's Lime 3DS and Mandarin. There's a lot of information about this project on their official GitHub site, including differences between Work 3DS and the other forks. And yes, there are a lot. Anyways, if you want to read this through, link will be in the description below. This update has a lot of Android improvements. So for Android, updated emulation pause icon, added performance stats overlay, add fast forward hotkey toggle, updated gamepad settings labels, some code cleanup, multiplayer net play improvements, and implemented playtime tracking. And lastly, still with 3DS, Mandarin got updated to version 1.2. This added support for Android 15 and fixes some errors. Optimized OpenGL buffer, added game shortcuts, implement Vulkan SPI RV, implementation of multiple game folders, and added multiplayer support. Alright, that would be all for the recent updates regarding Android emulation. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you want to keep updated on Android emulation, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.